Hello, and welcome to the Symantio Pushmail tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to set up your Google Mail account to send email directly to your mobile device using Amantio Push Mail. Before we start, we need to make sure that the desktop computer or laptop you are using is connected to the internet. Now is also a good time to ensure that your Windows mobile device is connected to your computer using Microsoft ActiveSync if you are using Windows XP or using Windows Mobile Device Center if you're using Windows Vista. Please follow your device manufacturer's instructions to connect your device to your computer and ensure that an active partnership is established. As we are using a Google Mail account for this tutorial, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that our Google account is configured to be able to send email to the mobile device. To do this, we navigate to www.google.com forward slash mail on the desktop computer and log into our Google Mail account in the usual way. If you don't have a Google Mail account yet, you have the option to create a new account using the Sign Up for Google Mail link on this page. Follow Google's instructions to create a new account and please make a temporary note of your new Google login name and password as you will need these later on in the setup process. As we already have a Google Mail account, we are going to go ahead and log in on this page. Once we have accessed the Google Mail account, we will need to change the account settings to enable email to be pushed to your mobile device using Amantio Pushmail. To do this, click on the settings link in the top right corner of the page, right next to your email address. Now we're in the settings screen, we select the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. This should be the fifth tab along from the left. In the third section of these settings, IMAP access, we select the enable IMAP option. This will ensure that your Amantio Pushmail software will be able to communicate with your Google Mail account. Click the Save Changes button to exit settings and return to your mailbox. Your Google Mail account is now configured and ready to integrate seamlessly with Amantio Pushmail. Now that Google is ready for action, we need to download the Amantio Pushmail software and configure it for use on your Windows mobile device. To do this, we navigate to www.imancio.com. This will bring us to the Imancio website. Select the Download tab, which is the second tab from the left on your screen, and locate the orange download link. Clicking on this link will bring you to a form where you can register to download the software. Please follow the on-screen instructions to complete the form and provide the information requested. Please take special care to provide some information regarding the type of device that you are using. This will help Amancio customer service staff to provide you relevant information should we need to troubleshoot your configuration later. In this case, we'll be using an O2 XDA device. Once you have completed this form, please click on the button Mail Me a Download link. This will send an email to your Google Mail account containing a link through which you can download the software. If we log back into our Google Mail account, we should be able to see this email from Amantio Customer Service in our inbox. If we open it up, we should then be able to locate the link which will enable us to download the software. Once we click on this link, a dialog box will open up asking us if we wish to open or save the Amantio software. We recommend that you save the software to a location that is convenient for you. In this case, we'll be using the desktop. Now that we have downloaded the Amantio software, we need to copy it to our Windows mobile device. To do this, Locate the file that you saved in the previous step using an Explorer view. Right click on the file and select Copy. Next, navigate using the Explorer to the Computer folder. This will open up a graphical view of your computer and the devices attached to it. In this case, we'll be using a Mancio XTA. Double click here and you can select from either the main memory or the attached storage card. In this case, we'll be using the storage card. 
Right click on the storage card folder and click paste. This will copy the Amantio software from your computer to your Windows mobile device. Next, we're going to install the Amantio Pushmail software on our Windows mobile device. To do this, we locate the Amantio software file using the Windows Mobile File Explorer, located in Start, Programs, File Explorer. In the File Explorer, we navigate to the location where we stored the Amantio software file from our desktop. In this case, remember, it was the storage card. Once we locate the file, we click on it and the installation process starts automatically. Please follow the on-screen instructions for any further advice. When prompted for the installation location, please select Device. This will install the Amancio Pushmail software into the main memory of your Windows Mobile. Once the installation has completed successfully, please click OK to return to the File Explorer. Next, we're going to configure the Amancio Pushmail software to work with your Google Mail account. To do this, we locate the Amancio Setup Wizard through Start Programs. Opening this application for the first time will present you with a list of the standard email account types supported by Amancio out of the box. In this case, we're using a Gmail account. Name the profile something relevant to you. As we're using a Google Mail account for this tutorial, we're going to leave the profile Google Mail. Click Next. In this screen, the incoming and outgoing servers for Google Mail are defined. These are pre-configured for Gmail and Google Mail, so click Next. On the third screen, we set up the user details for our incoming email server. Please use the Google Mail login ID and password for your Google Mail account. Remember, we asked you to take a note of these earlier in the setup process. Then click Next. On the fourth screen, we provide the same information for our outgoing user information. In this case, our name is Amancio Tutorials, but you can insert your own name. Then once again, we insert the Google Mail email address before clicking Next. The outgoing Google Mail server requires authentication, so please leave the default settings on screen 5. We also recommend that you leave the default settings on screen 6, as this will reduce the amount of data that is transferred to your Windows mobile device. On screen 7, you have the option to restrict the amount of email history that is stored on your device. We normally recommend that you only display messages from the last 10 days. On screen 8, the default Google Mail deleted and sent mail folders are established. On screen 9, the default ports are established. Please do not change these. When we click on Finish, the Amancio setup process is completed. We can now close down all of our open applications and return to the Today screen. At the bottom of the Today screen, there is a new icon in the form of a white envelope with a green mark. Clicking on this will open the Amantio control. Selecting the Log tab will allow you to review server activity resulting in the delivery of new email. You can view these new mail messages by clicking on the View button in the notification message. When we return to the Today screen, we can check the Amantio log again. The most recent log entry should read Client state equals idle. This means that Amancio Pushmail is listening for email on the Google Mail server and is working properly. Now that Amancio Pushmail is configured and is receiving email from the Google Mail servers, we may wish to change the way that Windows Mobile notifies us about new emails. To do this, go into Start, Settings, Sounds and Notifications. On the Notifications tab, locate the event for Messaging new email message. Then check the vibrate box. This will allow you to receive a vibrating alert whilst the mobile is in standby mode without activating the screen. Click OK to change these settings. Your Windows mobile device is now configured to send and receive push email using Amancio Pushmail and the Google Mail servers. This concludes the Amantio Pushmail tutorial. 
please email customer service at emancio.com for any further assistance.